Welcome to Potash. In this training module, we'll learn about operating the Union Pacific General Electric AC4400 CW. The big AC4400 CW is an example of state-of-the-art U.S. diesel locomotives with 4,400 horsepower and AC traction. You'll be the engineer of the two-unit lash-up right in front of you. Let's begin by preparing the units for service. Almost all trains on the Cane Creek subdivision use two or more locomotives on the head end. We thus have to set up the diesels accordingly as lead and trailing units. Let's start by climbing aboard the trailing unit, which is the one farther to our left. Any trailing locomotive must have its control stand disabled so that it can receive commands from the lead unit. Check that the control, fuel pump, and engine run switch are in the off position. Trailing units must also have their brakes set to cut out and trail. This is the default setting for all running locomotives at scenario start. So we can move on to the lead locomotive now. This is our lead engine. In other words, the unit will be operating from. We must thus switch on its controls. Our engine's controls are now active. Now we need to set the brakes for lead and cut in, which we can do on any one of the three screens located on the control desks. two units are now ready to go to work. Set the reverser forward, release the brakes, and apply a little throttle. Then carefully proceed to the destination marker and stop there. The path to your destination has been set for you in this scenario. Please be aware that there are numerous manual switches on the Cane Creek subdivision, and the engine crew must always ensure the switches ahead are aligned properly for its movements. <laughs> 